surprised to take note of Minister Wong's answer, or should I say non-answer, to my questions on suspending funding for UNRWA. My questions were not only met with complete deflection, but personal accusations by the Minister. I will not be gaslighted. On 26 January, the International Court of Justice said about Israel's war on the Palestinian people. In the Court's view, at least some of the acts and omissions alleged by South Africa to have been committed by Israel in Gaza appear to be capable of falling within the provisions of the Genocide Convention. I'll say that in plain language. Minister Wong, your ally Israel, who your government unconditionally supports, is likely committing genocide on the Palestinian people. Not just war crimes, not just unconscionable conduct, but the crime of all crimes, genocide. We never needed a court to tell us that Israel is on a genocidal mission. The evidence is being live streamed. Not a word on the ICJ ruling from the cowardly Labour government, but they did decide within hours to suspend funding for UNRWA. How appalling. Suspending funding to the largest humanitarian agency for Palestinians while they are being killed, starved and displaced by the occupation. But not so much as a slap on the wrist for Israel. Everyone knows it's been Israel's dream to disband UNRWA. Shamefully, when Israel says jump, the Australian government says how high. Almost 30,000 Palestinians killed. And who knows how many remain buried under the rubble. Nurses, doctors, academics, journalists, UN workers, humanitarian aid workers, all targeted. Almost 11,000 children killed. The level of cruelty and inhumanity is overwhelming. And it is clear that Israel's intention is to permanently expel Palestinians from Gaza. We live in an upside down world, a world where the Labour government, where a Labour government would rather side with a genocidal state than its targets. A world where those who speak out against the killing of civilians are doxxed, their jobs and careers destroyed. But we are resolute. We will remain on the right side of history no matter what the cost. Because as Nelson Mandela said, our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestinians.